Hey everyone, this is Cubo back at you. And in this video, we're gonna go over the fastest and the best ways to complete Expedition for Emergence with the top tips and tricks that I gathered along the way that you will be able to get all the rewards, especially a massive sandworm to ride on. So awesome. Also, giving a like and a subscribe can really help a lot. And let's get to it. To start a new expedition, it's very simple, as we can hold up to 15 save slots. Most chances is you got one free spot left, especially if you're new. So just scroll to the bottom, pick it, and you will see on the right the expedition event we are on now, and the time to complete it up top. Now, let's choose it and start the new expedition. Now, before we start, important that you know, like in every expedition, the game can crash at any moment because there's a lot of players playing at the same planet. It will be the same planet for everyone. So to prevent it from crashing, do the following. The first thing that you can do is to disable the multiplayer option in the network settings. Now, if you want to play multiplayer, at least at the beginning, start without the multiplayer to prevent it from crashing. And the second thing that you can do is to use the save point that you got when you start, you can access it on the build menu. Just remember to save any progress that you do, especially after every milestone. Trust me about that. Oh, come on. We crashed again. We're almost there. Oh, come on. No, not again. Again. <laughs> so, yep. Use your save point wisely to save the progress. And let's continue. Now, the first planet that you will start on, like everyone else, planet Wasan, is gonna be with harsh conditions. Lots of shaking from the sandworms, there's gonna be a lot of them. And the weather is gonna be lots of storms. You will want to go out of there as soon as you can, but don't. Stay on that planet, there's a couple of milestones that you can complete. On that planet, before you go, let me show you which one. So of course, let's start from locating your ship. You can find your ship very easily. You will see this marking up top and uh, below. Just follow that. Should be in your vicinity. On the way, keep in mind you will need to fix your ship. Not like in the last expedition, this will be very easy. Like starting a new save, you will need to gather some dihydrogen, ferro dust and carbon. Use those to fix your ship when you get there. Now on the options menu, there's the expedition tab over there with all the milestones you will need to complete and you can collect the rewards from there as well after you complete it. But you don't have to do all the milestones by the order they are in. So after you located your ship, took the rewards and installed a terrain manipulator, you will notice this planet has ancient bones as well and cursed dust. You will need them as you can see in phase two, there will be this milestone to mine cursed dust. Just as like you mine copper in the beginning of a new save, use the scanner to find it. And on phase four as well, you will need to collect ancient bones, 16 of them. You will want to do it on the first planet. It will be harder to find it after. And you will have almost empty exosuit so you can fill it up with all the ancient bones you will collect also you will have this eliminate hungering tendrils you will need 36 of those let me show you what you need to do so it will be quick and efficient so use your visor to scan for ancient bones you will see the yellow marking you can mark it on pc you press e while you're on it use your ship to move around from a, a spot to the second spot that way you can uh, find valuable locations on the way like a trading post or a minor settlement and etc there you can sell what you gathered and clear some space from your exosuit to gather more now if you can't find on your visor ancient bones location then just look around and find those titan worm burrow go to there and don't be alarmed those uh, sandworms will pop up from the ground in your first time it's gonna be a bit <laughs> spooky if you're not ready for it but 
but use any weapon you got you can use your mining beam or whatever weapon you got with your weapon just stand a bit far from them don't get too close they can hit you and uh, smack you in a couple of uh, blows and kill you very fast just do as i do and those are the hungering tendrils we saw before you need to kill 36 of those and you will need to kill a titan worm burrow on every phase and rendezvous planet you will arrive so i think like five times to get that milestone as well very easy and by killing them from each one you will kill you will get fleshy rope as you can see up top and those you keep them let me show you how you can use them you will have another milestone for uh, earning 4000 nanites and those fleshy ropes you can uh, use to refine into nanites one will give you 50 use your uh, portable refiner to refine those and there's another milestone let's keep going and for the next one while there is a storm going on you will see extreme storm on the bottom left and whenever there is a storm use your visor to find storm crystals those you can find a lot of them and you can sell them for money and get a lot of money so you can buy things so we took care of the money and nanites and it's good that you will run a lot while there is an extreme storm because we got another milestone you will need to run 3000 u while in the storm so be sure to do that and keep track to see when you finished it and the next milestone is gonna be an impossible one to complete but i'm gonna show you how to do it the fastest on the first planet again what you need to do is just to stand around and while there's an extreme storm, you will need to be almost on the verge of death. Don't worry, even if you miss out and die, you can uh, get back to this location when you died and collect your grave with all your stuff. So don't worry about that. And to complete the milestone, as you can see, just wait around while there's a storm and get hit by the extreme storm. And you will need one shield to be dropped. To complete this one this one is called embrace the flames one of the hardest ones to get if you don't do it on the first planet so we just took care of that one as well and don't be afraid this is normal mode if you die you can collect your grave with your stuff on the place you died you can collect it and keep going luckily i found a trading outpost so i can sell all the stuff and get money for it make some room in my exosuit after i finished all those rewards and if you can't find any place to sell on the planet but you will in case you won't, you can go to the space station and sell your stuff over there. One more thing we can do before we go out from the first planet is, is to look with your visor and scan for cursed dust deposit. You will see it will look like any kind of deposit. It will say cursed dust. There we go. Use your terrain manipulator that for sure by now you installed. It's not that complicated and you will have the blueprint for that so mine the cursed dust until you will get another milestone complete and you got enough and that's all that you're gonna need to mine from the cursed dust and there we go we got the milestone for that and one last thing you will need to get on the first planet before we're gonna take off is we will need to to jump into the water and we will need a cyto phosphate you don't need a lot 100 will be enough give or take <laughs> and you can get them by shooting this plant as you can see but shoot them from afar because from out of it sometimes you're gonna get out uh, uh, some kind of a jellyfish just shoot them you can use your mining beam very easy shoot them like you can see here so you don't die <laughs> and collect just enough cytophosphate Trust me, you will want to get it here. Okay, finish with that. Let's take off and get another milestone. Oh yeah. And be sure to collect all the rewards as well, right? Now let's go to the space station in the first system. There'll be some cool music when we arrive. After that, use the NPCs that come into the space station to sell the rest of the stuff that you get and the merchants as well to sell any upgrades that you don't need. Now you're gonna need to buy chromatic metal to install the hyperdrive to your ship to be able to warp into the next location. So I suggest now that you got enough nanites, 
go and buy an upgrade to your hyperdrive in S class 1. You can buy as much as you want. You can buy one on every reload you do. And from the NPCs, get the chromatic metal and five microprocessors that you're gonna need to install it. And maybe some more materials. We got enough money now to craft more fuel to go so let's take care of all of that and now we're ready to go to the next system we just need at least one upgrade like you see here i got lucky and got 247 light years and that's enough to go to the next rendezvous spot the fuddinger system and when you will arrive you're gonna get this milestone for warping let's collect it you're gonna get salvage data and personal refiner and a base computer so you can place a base wherever you want to so let's craft everything install what we need and let's head off to the anomaly you will want to do that before you go to the rendezvous spot i will show you why so let's get inside the anomaly and go to the back room there you got all the merchants i'm gonna use the balcony to go up instead of walking around like survival bob told me okay first stop is gonna be the construction and we're gonna get with our salvage data a roamer and i'm gonna get for myself because i like the pilgrim as well you can get whatever you like use your salvage data next i'm gonna go to the multi-tool merchant i'm gonna take a scattle blaster now you don't have to get it if you got it already some people got the scattle blaster some people got something else i got a sucky weapon so i'm gonna get the scattle blaster that's the best one to fight with and i'm gonna go to the exosuit merchant as well to get this air burst engine that's gonna be very handy that fills up your uh, jetpack while you're flying so very very handy let's uh go now to the rendezvous spot if you don't see the rendezvous spot go into the expedition tab just press on the rendezvous spot you need to go and it will uh, direct you again to that spot now we're gonna use the pilgrim we just bought to move around because trust me there's a lot of a uh, hostile fauna on this planet and they can smack you around and kill you really fast especially if you're not upgraded so let's use the pilgrim to move around once in a while stop and check if you're on the right track and we got here now when you will arrive after you collect all your rewards you will see that you have um, whispering eggs around you and you're gonna need to get 16 of those to complete another milestone so you got two choices now how to do it the best way let me show you the first one if you're not like me you can uh, get what you can from all those uh, rendezvous spots every one of them is gonna be with whispering eggs so if you're not gonna get what you need from this one you can get on the next one the rest just do as i do i shoot take go on the roof and go to the next spot and collect and hope for the best usually they can spot you real quick if you move around from side to side the next best way to get whispering eggs is and trust me on that it's the best way especially if you don't want to die and you want to do it and have some fun on the same system we are on now the fuddinger system there's an airless planet go into the discovery service and see by yourself everything should be uh, discovered if your online services are online otherwise just stand around and scan and find the earliest planet you can notice it by uh, the rusted metal as an element on that planet go there and land then construct the pilgrim again also don't forget to use your save point if there something will happen now use your visor you can see the eggs in your visor it's gonna be really really <laughs> easy to detect then go to it shoot it get the egg really quick get inside the exocraft and move to the next location repeat the process like this till you have enough and don't forget to have some fun oh yeah <laughs> the pilgrim is one of my favorites okay now after we collected all the whispering eggs just keep in mind on that planet there's a uh, navigation data as well if you want to uh, get some maps i'm gonna show you how you don't need maps as well but if you want to there's a couple over there and after you complete the milestone you're gonna get some uh, scatter blaster uh, upgrades they're gonna be x class so uh, they can be good or not install it it's gonna do the job anyways and now your weapon is a heck of a beast let's summon your ship and keep going now we also got a broadcast receiver and i use that on the same system just when i left the airless planet just need to activate it and then pulse around till you get a message to stop and 
board the derelict freighter. Just make sure before you go inside the derelict freighter to put the broadcast receiver inside your uh, personal refiner. That will keep it from uh, being taken away by the derelict freighter once you unseal the door. And to reuse it again, take it outside when you're gonna finish this derelict freighter and just pulls to restart it. And then you can use it again. Just make sure while you're inside the derelict freighter to keep it inside of your personal refiner. And that's it. Now you also got a scattle blaster, so don't worry, you got a powerful weapon by now. And this uh, derelict freighter is pretty, pretty cool. Not too bad. There is no aliens. Let's get inside. There is only sentinels and those uh, turrets that can shoot you if they detect you. So you can avoid them if you want to. And what you want to get from the derelict freighter is mainly everything. <laughs> Let me explain. Uh, you will need to open all the log snippet till you get the credentials, the security credentials. And I'm pretty sure on the second mainframe, you're gonna get the archive override implant plans. Okay, so you're gonna need that. So choose the extract archive override implant plans and uh, you're gonna need to install it on your exosuit. You're gonna need two wiring looms. You can get it on the space station and cytophosphate that we got when it just uh, started, when I showed at the beginning. And you're gonna need three Hadel cores. Now, I suggest, like I did, okay, to go and get the Hadel cores from the derelict freighters. You can get it very easy. I got it on uh, the big boxes, as you can see. Only need three. And in case you weren't gonna get it, you can use the same broadcast receiver, like I said before we got inside, what to do to keep using it. Now that you got everything, especially the Hadel cores, because if you won't get it from the direct freighters and you will want to go and uh, try your luck to get it inside of uh, the oceans on the planets, be my guest, but uh, it can take you a lot, a lot of time. And this is the fastest way to get it. I got it two times already on a direct freighter, so I'm pretty sure you can get it very easy just open all the boxes get inside all the rooms and especially on that system there's a very easy derelict freighter okay let's keep going next station is gonna be the anomaly again let's get inside and this time we're gonna visit polo he's that uh, little gag with the funny uh, glasses now before you approach him just make sure you're on the right mission into the red commune with the atlas pick it be sure you're on it because it can glitch and not work and give you what you need okay let's approach him and he should get you three choices and you should choose ask about atlas station and that's it let's go outside of the anomaly back into space and let's go into the galaxy map there you will see the way it will direct you to a specific destination with an atlas station in it so choose it and let's warp right over there now the atlas station if you don't know if you're new to the game it's kind of like the space station but way cooler let's go inside i won't spoil all the animation for you i'm gonna make it short so let's land and let's go to the big red boat the spinning one you won't miss it just be sure to uh, collect a couple of uh, warp fuel okay now interact with it you'll get a cool story and present the cursed dust that we gathered you will need cursed dust as well to install the visceral synthesizer that's what you're gonna get just make sure before you leave to get a cool screenshot <laughs> with the atlas and after you install the visceral uh, synthesizer you can now go and keep going to the rendezvous spots and kill uh, hungering uh, tendrils and you will see something coming off out of them those are the vile spawns you're gonna need only three of them very easy to get collect them three and get another milestone and by the way you can refine it into nanites as well you don't really need it and let's continue to the last milestone for today and then we will complete the expedition for emergence let's go we're gonna need to find an archive i'm gonna share with you you a little secret how to find an archive really really fast you don't need maps no nothing a lot of people said they used a lot of maps and didn't find an archive and got tired of that so you just need to go to the space station i went to the space station on the last rendezvous uh, system you can do that as well so that way you can make sure you will get 
the archive location just go to the teleporter on the space station interact with the teleporter and pick other bases you're gonna see every base in that system more or less and most of the bases will be named archive something no matter in what uh, language you will recognize the word archive just pick one and you're gonna be teleported to an archive and that way you found an archive for the last milestone and let's go over there i will show you how to complete this milestone fully just make sure to be on the right mission and to get everything installed and you will need to go to the celestial archive that's the big uh, spinning uh, square thing cool thing okay so let's interact with it I'm gonna give you the story of this expedition very cool stuff and at the end you're gonna get an access bound archive the archive override implant installed just make sure that it is installed and choose it i won't spoil you with the story this is for you to find out and now you're gonna get the last milestone and the rethink manuscript oh yeah we finished the expedition <laughs> with no problems i gotta say now just left to collect all the rewards and to see the story and what it's all about and there's a cool story behind it i leave it for you to find out the last thing that left is to open the rewards we got two eggs the first egg is gonna be a diplo egg it's gonna be a special diplo from uh, the expedition a really really cool one i really suggest you uh, keep it it's kind of rare and the the second egg is gonna be a sandworm a cool massive sandworm let's hatch this egg and look at that you got a cool cool sandworm if you want to supersize them both by the way check out the video i got in the link up top and below in the description and um, that way you can uh, max the heck out of them i suggest that you have fun with those two cool animals and this is it this is the end of the expedition if this was helpful and you like what you see give it a like it will help a lot and if you haven't yet subscribe for more and i want to say a massive big thank you for the channel supporters slash producers that are written here on the screen thank you very much you guys for the support i hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one bye everyone don't forget to check out the cool merch there's links below in the description and a patreon if you want to check it out thank you very much awesome